to what I'm eating. I know I just worked out, but the road to recovery and, and building your physique and everything, it comes down to your nutrition. And recently my body has transformed a lot. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you how much my body's transformed. I'm gonna pop it up right here. All right. So look at this. This is me right now. Look at this. My body is transforming like wildfire. Like wildfire, let me put it up here for a second. So you can see a little bit better. It's transforming so much because of what I'm consuming. And so, if I'm eating right, if you eat right, you feel right, you already know that saying, and I'm training right, there's no way I'm not gonna see results. So, let's dive into what I just bought from Whole Foods. And when I tell you to invest and what you consume. Invest in your body, whether that's a program, body evo, da -da -da -da, or it, I don't even know what that was, or if it's massage therapy, or whatever it is, stretching, investing your time, energy, do it, because if you don't, well then you're not gonna see the results that you want, and you're gonna wonder, why am I sick? Why are my results not coming? Why am I injured? So, let's dive into this. This is the only thing, the only piece of I, or a piece of food that I can consume that is like cheat meal worthy, right? And it's not even that bad. You should check these out online. Okay, in this bag, I have a lean ground bison. So I have bison right here. I don't eat chicken very often. I don't eat any turkey. I don't eat any just regular beef. I don't eat any of that crap. I eat some very, very good wild meats and that's what I like to consume. All right, so let's dive into this. So we have my bean sprouts right here, boom. We have cashews, healthy fats. We have bananas. We have the other cinnamon. So these are the two things right here. The cinnamon and the cookies. These are the cheats, remember that, all right. If I do have any type of a pasta or anything like that, I have completely gluten free. I don't eat gluten right now, not at all, like pretty much not at all. So that's one of the things that I consume. I also have wild caught pink shrimp. Here I have all of my zucchini and squash. I have my broccoli stir fry, so if I'm in quick, I'm trying to make something happen really quick for myself, boom, I got it. All right, we have some seasonings. We got garlic, minced, or sorry, minced onions. Delicious to add to any of your meals that you're consuming. All right, we got Pellegrino. You already see that right here. Boom, if you eat right, you feel right. We have goji berries. If you don't know about goji berries, read. High in antioxidants, vitamin A. It's good for you. Consume it, put it in your shakes, put it on top of acai bowls. Make it happen for yourself. We have cacao. This is some good stuff, you need this. It's gonna be pretty bland if you try and just put it in for a meal, like if you just put it in um, thinking that it's just gonna taste like chocolate, that's not what it tastes like. It's cacao powder, it's strong. All right, then we have zucchini spirals, a lot of vegetables, we have broccoli, 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 and I usually buy it from here because it's super quick, I throw half of it in there and then I'm good to go. All uh, right, let's dive into it a little bit more. We got maca powder, maca, make it maca, whatever it is, it's good for you, consume it. Then we have, let's see, let's see, we got hemp seeds. You guys know a lot of the benefits of hemp, but a great fatty acid to consume with your diet. All right, we have more shrimp, of course. Then we go into steel cut, Oats, I do not eat rolled oats, I eat steel cut, and of course, gluten-free baby. It's delicious, mm. All right, and then we, let's dive into this. We got black olives. This is actually one of my favorite foods in the world. Literally black olives. You wanna make me happy? Get me gummy bears 
and black olives. I know, that's a weird combination. All right, all right, so we have more black olives and all of that, but we also have a couple seasonings. It's very important. You always wanna add in some type of a spice or something that's gonna give you some great benefits. Cinnamon is great to add in to, uh, let's say, a, a shake, or you can add it onto some, maybe you're making dessert, you have like a little bit of yogurt, whatever it is. And then I have paprika. Paprika is delicious. You can add this to fish and it makes it a smoke taste. It's delicious. All right, and then let's just keep on diving into it. We got a lot of stuff in here. I have lemon water every single morning. By the way, these are some clothes. Ignore that, clothes, ignore it. Okay, then we have some eggplant. Let's keep on going. Kiwi, so delicious, and I eat the outside. I eat the, actually the skin of it because it's high in fiber. And it's also very good, it's delicious. I love having the skin on there. A lot of people wonder like, what the heck, why do you do that? Well, I just do it, I just do it. It's natural, it's from the ground, I eat it. So then here we have, did I just say from the ground, whatever. And then I have some cucumber, organic. I usually eat everything organic, I try to, and I spend a lot of money on my groceries, I do, I really do. I have apples right here. Delicious. I usually add some cashew butter or sunflower butter for those bad boys. And then we have potatoes. So we have sweet potatoes and we have a little bit of russet potatoes, okay? And then I believe that is it. But if you go in here, this is not mine. These are, this is actually Brian's. So I have spirulina, I have barley grass, I have organic sunscreen because I don't want to put crap on my body. I have brown rice, organic rice cakes. I have raw, unfiltered honey. Delicious, very good for you. And then I also have some teas, like really good herbal teas that you can put up uh, and, and at night and just consume late at night. Then you go to my fridge and we have some cashew milk, literally dairy-free, organic cashew milk, unsweetened, plain. I don't like any of that extra crap. I got some kombucha. Um, I got some more hemp protein right here. Um, let's see, we have butternut squash, organic, delicious. I love adding this to all my food. It's not really that delicious, to be honest. And then here's actually my sun butter, sunflower butter, organic. This is what I use. And then of course, we have my spring mix, arugula. So, long story short, I like to consume a lot of healthy foods. And to be honest, I feel like, and I'm just gonna say this straight up, I feel like the fitness industry is lacking people that truly eat healthy and talk about it and show it and document it. And it's, it's running a lot of individuals into the ground and bringing them to a lot of mistakes that they can't really, they don't really know how to overcome. And so if you get into a position where you're eating crap, 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 it's gonna be harder to gain muscle in the way that you want and stay healthy at the same time. And that's what I'm saying. Both, IIFYM has been taken way out of context. You know, if you eat healthy all the time and do cardio all the time and you're having incredible workouts, you're not gonna wanna eat crappy foods, you're not gonna wanna consume sugary drinks and all this crap that's out there. Actually, it's gonna be quite the opposite. I had last night for the first time a cheat meal. It was kind of a cheat meal, right? I went to a vegan restaurant with my homie and my buddy, homie, whatever you wanna call him, and I got buffalo cauliflower pizza with a gluten-free crust, because again, I'm trying to stay gluten-free, and it like it just messed up my stomach. It messed up my stomach so bad, and then my workout this morning was hell because of it. And so, I don't even want any of that stuff anymore. I just wanna eat healthy, and if I do have anything, if I have a sweet tooth, look, right here, that's it. That's all you need. And I also have my shakes, I have my shakes, I eat healthy pretty consistently, you know, and so, like, my body's transforming because of that. So everyone's asking me, well, Brennan, how did you gain 40 pounds in five months? Look, if you're sick, if you're injured, you know what I mean and you know how I did it. If you lost 40 pounds, a lot of it being muscle, it's going to come back extremely, extremely quick, especially if, if my body's used to training. It's adapting, it's so quick to adaptation. And that's what really us humans are meant to do, right? Like we adapt to situations, we adapt, our bodies just adapt, 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 our minds, right? Our work ethic always adapts to what, whatever it is, we adapt, we're, we're adapting humans. And so 
if you are training, it's called the gas theory, right? So you have your alarm phase where your body's like, whoa, what is that? And then you have the, the next phase where you actually start getting used to exercises, you get used to everything, and you start building that muscle, you start building that strength, you start building that power, and then you end with you're just plateauing, you need to change it up, you need to switch up your programming, your diet, whatever it is. You know, that's the way I think of life and with business and everything that we do in my body and, and, and growing. So building 40 pounds in five months, that's very realistic, especially if I usually walk around at 195 to 205 consistently. So it's just a quick adjustment because I started eating way more. Look, I gained a lot of weight because I wasn't eating. I gained, or sorry, I lost a lot of weight because I just wasn't eating. I lost a lot of weight because I wasn't exercising. I lost a lot of weight because I was so stressed. I, was lo I lost a lot of weight because I was injured and I had sicknesses. And so if you're somebody who feels like you can't gain weight or you can't build the size that you want or anything like that, doubtful, very doubtful. You can, you absolutely can. You're not gonna gain 40 pounds in five months like myself because you're not sick, you're not injured, you're not in the situation where you lost all that weight, right? But you can expect yourself to gain a couple pounds per month if you do it properly. Now, it's different if you're more of an expert, you've been training for a while, you're more advanced, you've been training for years, you know, your body's adapted to a lot of stimuli, so it's going to be a little bit harder for you to gain weight and build that size that you want and, and build that lean muscle, because that's what we're really here to do, right? We want to have that body, that physique, and be able to walk around feeling healthy and doing incredible things and, and overcoming things. And so, you know, if you stay strict with your diet, you stay strict with everything I just talked about in this video, um, I believe 100% it'll happen for you as well. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. And you know what we say, if you eat right, you feel right. If you feel right, you look right. And if you look right, you do right. You dig. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget to pick up Body Evo right now. Opportunity of your life to start bodyweight training. Full go. Let's go in the description. Join the family.